asked for so many comparisons of Alastor and Stolas that I decided to do it so as not to offend you. If there was a fight between the two, the answer to the question of who would win is of course Stolas. I will tell you the reasons and the knowledge of both of them in terms of power in this video. But I ask you to like this series. If you do not know the hierarchy of hell, I recommend you to look carefully with the image on the screen. Hell consists of eight layers, hierarchically within itself. These layers appear as imps or hellhounds, respectively. These are generally hellborn demons and are located at the bottom of hell. Although they are of the devil type, we can say that they are working class. As for the second layer, they are also hellborn demons who are famous compared to other creatures. Their popularity is known by everyone. The third layer consists of us-humans, the sinners. In general, if the person who dies is evil, they go to hell and become whatever they feared most in that life. Although it may look like they are enjoying themselves when they should be in torment, this is not the case. The fourth layer is the most important layer that concerns us. It is made up of people who have done evil and become famous in the world. Sinners who have become famous by continuing their evil deeds after arriving in hell. The main difference is that they possess souls with their power and use them as slaves. The more evil spirits an overlord possesses, the more powerful he becomes. Alastor is a human being and an overlord, just like any other sinner. The fifth layer is a special class, again of interest to us, classified as the family of Guedia, Ars. Goetia is a dynasty of noble demons who rule the hellborn demons and serve as prophets, messengers and observers of the mortal plane for Lucifer Magna and the guardians of hell. Their figurehead is Paimon, father of the 72 Goetia demons. The Goetia represent the top rank in hell's social hierarchy surpassing the non-royal hellborn and all sinners, including the overlords. One of the reasons why Stolas is so powerful is the legion army behind him. He has a huge army of his own, making him one of the most powerful creatures. However, let's take a look for those who wonder how it would look if we were to compare their powers. I'm sorry to interrupt the story here. You can only like the video in return for this labor and express your opinions about this cartoon series in the comments. If you are still not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe. Thank you to join members. Don't forget to come to my Discord server for chat and theories. And welcome to my channel and video. Friends, since it is not possible for me to find the images one by one, you have to imagine more. Anyway, if you are a fan of Hella Vobos and Hasben Hotel, you have watched all the episodes. If we look deeper into Alastor's powers, Demon Transformation. Alastor has the ability to transform into a much larger and more powerful demon form. Flexibility, Alastor can contort his body into many unnatural poses. Demonic Magic, Alastor can cast spells thanks to the high level of power he has accumulated in the Demon Rankin system. Chosanje. In the pilot episode, this takes the visual form of glowing red symbols floating around him, resembling voodoo magic. Alastor is also shown using a form of blood magic as a way to defeat Serpentius, clenching his fist until droplets of blood are seen falling. Teleportation. Alastor can summon and transport other beings and areas to his location, as shown when he pulls Nifty into the hotel foyer from a fireplace, husk, and part of the bar he was in. Alteration. Alastor has also shown that he can alter objects such as the hotel sign, 
and can change his and others' clothes with a snap of his fingers. Umbrakinesis. Alastor can summon shadows and manipulate them to do his bidding. He can also hide in the shadows, as seen when Charlie hid while forgiving Pentheus. Shadow warping. Alastor can move around with the help of his shadow. This was first shown when he teleported behind Charlie and Vagi after entering the hotel for the first time. Shadow Barrier In The Show Must Go On, Alastor was shown to be able to create a barrier with his shadow. It was covered with eyes and voodoo symbols. He can also generate tentacles from it. Phytokinesis As shown in the Radio Demon comic, Alastor can wither plants with a single glance. Photokinesis during his introduction, he was shown to be able to project red glowing light from his eyes as well as his microphone. Tentacle generation. As seen in Dad Beat Dad, Alastor can generate black tentacles from his back and can generate tentacles from outside his body. In the pilot, he is shown summoning tentacles through a portal to defeat Sir Pentheus and destroy the blimp radio wave manipulation. Alastor can take over and control radio waves to broadcast across hell in radio towers. He can manipulate and generate radio waves and frequencies. Acoustokinesis. Alastor can put a radio effect on his voice, which he can have at different volume and pitch levels, sometimes distorting or deepening his voice to frighten others. He can also project various radio sound effects onto his cane, such as the sounds of laughter, booing, or the screaming of his victims, and can also make his cane speak. Physical Distortion Alastor's mostly facial appearance is covered by a distorted glitch effect in all videos and photos. He can also cause glitches in reality, so, what is Tolas's power in the light of all this information? Demon transformation. Stolas can transform into a huge, monstrous demon form with jet black feathers, large wings, jagged teeth, and two pairs of glowing red eyes. Human disguise. Stolas can take on a convincing human appearance to disguise himself in the living world. Flexible head. Like most owls, Stolas can turn his head 180 degrees with little or no effort and without any sign of discomfort or pain. Petrification. Stolas can turn his targets into stone with a simple flash. Telekinesis. Stolas can use telekinesis both passively and aggressively possession. Stolas can possess people on earth by spiritually entering them. Possession causes the host to go into spasm and they gain red eyes, sharp teeth and Stolas eye lines. Furthermore, when they stand on his seal, they can act as a tool to summon Stolas' physical form to Earth. Reanimation Stolas can temporarily revive the corpses of dead people, which he demonstrates on a group of his agents and use them to remove his seal to give him access to the human world without using the grimoire. Electrokinesis Stolas demonstrates this ability in Truth Seekers. When he disrupts the electrical signal of the monitors of the security cameras in his headquarters, it is unknown if having one of these has any effect. Portal creation Stolas can create portals to seemingly anywhere without using his grimoire. This ability first appears in Seekers of Truth when he creates a portal from Earth to Hell, and later in Seeing the Stars, he shows that he can also create portals to the living world. In Ozis, he is also shown to create portals to access other Hell Rings. High Pain Tolerance in Western Energy, it is shown that Stolas has a high tolerance for pain, because when Stryker broke his leg and stabbed him, Stolas did not react to the pain. When we compare all this information 
we see that a Lastor, which seems to be abundant in variety, is quite weak against Stolas when we look at the content of the powers. Stolas will eat a Lastor, my friends, so to speak, but I never said it would be easy. Yes, friends, we end the story here. If you have watched this far, it means you like the video, you can subscribe to my channel, express your opinions in the comments or support us by liking the video. See you in the next video. Goodbye.